Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in our previous video, we have added menu items, right? Now in this video, actually, I'm going to fetch menu items here. So let's go and here, uh, it will stream of all of them. So yeah, view items. So let's say when admin will click here, view items, we'll actually uh, enter in, in this clause. So here, uh, at first, actually, I have to start the connection. So I will say include. dv.php all right and here i want to say that okay now i want to fetch all of them so uh here i will say that dollar sql is equal to i want to set all the uh, items okay so i will say select all from menu items menu underscore items table all right i think the table name is menu items the menu items menu underscore items okay and select all from menu items and actually i want to fetch them here so i need a table uh, where i'm going to actually fetch them so i will remove the paragraph and i will create a table here so i will set table and table has two parts so t head and t body t body so we have t head and in the t head we are actually uh, going to use here a row and then we have th for the column so th table uh, column so how many column actually we need let's go to the database and here you can see we have uh, id image name price and category so two for five five columns so i will copy it five times copy Here I will say ID. I will say item name. Item of image, let's say. Item name. Item price. And the last one is item category. okay okay so i want to fetch all of them so yeah in the t body i will go here and i will say tr and here i need td so i will actually fetch all the data so at first i'm going to fetch from here and you can see i have just write the query and i have to execute the query right now so here i will say that result and i want to actually say uh, my sqli query so my sqli query function and here i want to actually Pass two parameter con and the SQL. And I'll say if not dollar result, I'll send the echo error. I will actually print the error, so I will say dollar con else uh we'll actually fetch all the item here so i'll go uh i'll come here and in the t body i'll say that okay want to fetch all the data all right so yeah i will say here this p script okay and I want to say that a loop actually I want to uh, write a, okay let me just uh, say here not loop at first so I will say here that uh, dollar row uh, a variable and here I, I'm going to actually fetch all the data as associative variable. so I will say mysql I fetch as asoc and the variable is result we are getting the result from here at the top okay so the result and here uh, our table can have multiple uh, data right if i go to the table uh, here if i refresh now you can see we can have multiple data right uh, more than one okay and uh, you have added the image successfully yes so yeah we can have multiple data so in that time actually we need to run while loop okay so i will run here while loop and i will keep 
the row uh, in, inside the while loop. So I'll actually end the while loop here and I will give a curly braces, opening curly braces here and I will actually uh, end the curly braces here. HP script curly braces like this. All right, so our loop is done and now here um, we got the row as uh, all the value as associative array and we are uh, you know storing the uh, values inside row uh, variable and here we have to paste all the row values so first of all um, i need to you know mention here five columns so one two three four five here first row dollar uh, id all right but we need to echo them right so we have to write here php script like this and we need to echo here okay no problem and let me just remove it so yeah that's it and here i need to say that okay dollar row the variable and i need to know the column name so here you can see we have an id so i will say here id let me just copy it and let me just give it a colon semicolon here i want to paste it and i want to know uh, you know fetch the second column that is image so i will say here image and the third column paste third column is name so i will say here name fourth column is price i'll paste it and i will say here price and the fifth column is category C A T E J Y. All right. So now uh, you can see we have fetched all the tables here uh, in in the table. Okay. All right. So I'll go here and I will actually go to the view items. And here you can see we have uh, the problem. So I will go at the top and I will remove it. Sorry. I will actually give here double dot slash because we are in the admin folder. We have to go back to the root directory. So refresh. Okay. Now you can see we get we are getting all the um items right we are getting the image name also but not the image so actually i want to fetch the image so to fetch the image we are we have to say here that uh we have to use here image tag okay image tag so let me just type here image and you can see that we have source so in the source uh currently we are in the admin of directory right we have to go back to the root directory so double dot slash and then our ns folder because we have store all the file in the ns folder then slash then the file name and file name uh, contain this uh, you know php script so i'll actually paste it here all right so here you can see so image name size and so let's say this yeah give here syndical all right, so let's go here and refresh now you can see we get the image and the first one has no image uh, but the image is you know too much uh, it's taking too much width and height and we are getting a scroll bar also so let's go here at the top and i will say that okay i don't want any overflow in the x axis so i will say here overflow in x axis hidden all right refresh now you can see there is no uh, scroll bar but the problem is our image is actually you know big size so we can actually set the width for the image so i will go here and let me just uh say here i uh, style style and i will say that okay i want uh width of the image and let's say 100 pixel there's it refresh now you can see uh we are getting error so why we have to say here style okay and here i have to say that okay i want width of let's say 100 pixel only refresh okay so now you can see we have id and we have image we have image name item price uh, i mean price name uh, price okay item price and item category so item category why okay so we have to say here item category item okay 
and you can see the table is not looking so good so actually i'm going to set here some uh, in style for the table so here you can see we are in the main uh, so i'll go here and let me just find main okay so the main class we have here and uh, we are actually saying here that okay i want to paste main here and i want to access the main uh, what table okay so i'll say main table main main table okay so you have main table and i want to set um, let's say border border collapse done and i want to say here that okay dot main er th td and to set that okay uh, background color or i can say border okay border uh, one pixel solid blue we have to remove it and we have to say border collapse collapse all right and for the tr and i don't need column for the tr uh sorry i don't need you know border for the tr i will uh, add th and td border so i'll go to the browser and here refresh now you can see um it's the table okay and actually i want to set width full width okay so i'll say width 100 percent So here you can see, uh, and we can actually set the main tr. Okay, so here you can see I have uh, used here a pseudo class and a child event. I mean, it will actually, you know, uh, go for the event. So the two is even. So it will actually change the second column, uh, second row uh, color. Okay, red. So I actually can change the color to red to gray, let's say. Gray. Fresh. Okay, and that's it. And I actually don't want to use here border, any border. Refresh. Okay, now you can see uh, I can add padding. So I will say that dot main th td. I will say that okay, can I give here a space? Yeah. I will say here that okay, I want padding of uh, 10 pixel or uh, 10 pixel. All right, so we are getting. Okay, actually, I want to uh, set you know background color for ID everything. So I will say here that okay, I want to set dot main th background color no uh, ID image item name price okay, and I want to set color white. So we have ID image. And we can actually set the uh, you know text align center, text align center. Fresh. Okay. I want to say that for the odd. I want to say that color would be light in light color, light gray. Let's say. Refresh. Okay. So yeah, this is the table, and I can change the uh, table, uh, you know text color also. So I will not do this. Okay, so now you can see I can add item and I can fetch all the item also, right? So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.